Today morning we had a program for about three and a half hours, three hours and 45 minutes almost. <coughs> we did the Prayoga Tarpanam. Just many of you participated. Good. Now we are going to have the Agyam of Riksha Bhairavam. Yes, we will see how fast we can do it. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes Agyam is over in one hour. Sometimes it is not completed if to, even after ten hours. So I can't say anything. It depends on Prashnam. <clears throat> Prashnam means everything that is going to happen or whatever happens here. Not that I will be going on watching you, so don't, you can be very relaxed. <laughs> if you are very conscious that uh, the Master is watching you, then you won't be comfortable, is it not? See, those days when I used to go to China, I used to travel a lot there because I was going for many of my own, I was a jack of all trades, master of none. <clears throat> so I had to go sometimes rural China, here and there, Xiamen, Guangzhou. I used to travel a lot. Interior rural China, you have to go only by bus. You don't have... There, you know, everybody will be watching at you. Yeah. Then I understood why cine actors and all in Bollywood, why they wear a cooling glass when they get down in the airport and go. It is just to, you know, avoid. Where they see, nobody will know. So I was also, I started using that. Because they will be, we will become very conscious when people keep on looking at you. You become very conscious. Of course, God is looking always at you. That's why you must be very conscious. At Sridhar, no problem. Sridhar is not that conscious. So anything that happens here, there will be so many things. A kid will be crying or a dog will be barking. Today, some dogs were there. It was very nice to see them. Nice dogs. Somebody had brought, I don't know. Nice them. They were all... They were all just a little bit barking and that was very nice. So these are all prashnam. Then what the birds, any, any, any sound, <clears throat> all these things we see. There is one computer which keeps running recording these sounds. Then we take a prashnam. Then it says how you can go. Then when you light the fire, then you see the Agni Lakshanam. There is something called Agni Lakshanam. Like you having a Lakshanam, me having a Lakshanam. For Agni is also there is a Lakshanam. Where the Agni comes in the Kundam, which part of the Kundam it comes, how much it comes, whether it goes clockwise or anti-clockwise. That is a very big subject. Almost I learnt it in one and a half years, about eight hours a day, almost. That was the time schedule. So many things are there. All those things. If Agni is there, what happens? If smoke comes, then what it is? Then smoke in which direction it goes? At that time, is any bird crossing over? So many things are there. So we will see all that and then we will take the... And we can see a number of Aksharas. Aksharas are very beautiful cosmic energy particles, which are available across. It is here. It will be with you. It will be with me. It will be with every one of you. You will be brave. You would have brought it. You might have come from somewhere. And in your place it might have been there. It might have latched on to you and it will be coming. There will be a base akshara for you. And there will be some ancillary aksharas. All these things make up. This is called Prayoga Shastra. It's not so easy. It's not that difficult. If I can learn it, anybody can learn it. That's all. It's simple. 
Okay, let us start the prayers. In the middle you use wherever you can use. I won't tell you where to use or etc. You won't be given any direction because you are all singing bhajan, you are using all that dub 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 bulke. You can uh, accordingly you can do it here also, there is no problem. I won't give you any direction. You can use your own discretion. Normally, if everybody is given their own discretion, they can do things better. When somebody starts controlling you, when they say, no, this should be this way, it has to be only this way, then it becomes a problem. That's what happens. So in my school, you are free to do anything you want. It's a very liberal school. It's a very liberal school. I won't. I don't like conditioning people. I don't like conditioning. No doubt. Please remember, I am a conditioned product. Today, if I am sitting here and talking to you, it's because of a lot of conditioning during my younger days. But I might have been conditioned, but I don't condition anybody. My things are very straight and plain. Just you live your life. Live your life very joyously. Don't worry about anything. If somebody says, this is going to be a problem, then you say, I have got a master, he will take care of me. Have that faith. That is called Mahavishwasam. That's all. What you need is total faith with something in life. You need to carry on in life with something. So that Mahavishwasam you should have. It need not be me. It can be with some other source also. It can be with anything. So that is what is needed in life. Live this life. See, I may be telling you, hey, Jayanti, I know you for thousands of years. But do you know that? You do not know that. You know only this life. Is it not? You know only this. You do not know all that. So this life, as far as you are concerned, is very important. And don't compromise on that. What you should not compromise in living a joyous life. Whatever gives you happiness, do it. Find your own happiness. Unless you are happy, you can make others happy. It's not possible. If you are miserable, you will make everybody miserable. So the idea is to be joyous and make everyone joyous. You should have a sense of responsibility, not towards others, but towards yourself. It's not towards others, it's towards yourself. See, there was a class in which everybody were given some puzzle. The puzzle is world map. The kids were given the puzzle and they were asked to put the world map in place. One kid came out and he said, I have made it. All the other kids were struggling. Then the teacher was curious. She asked, how is it that all the other kids are struggling? You are able to make it. Nothing, madam. It's a very small thing, miss. Accidentally, one puzzle flipped. I saw one eye on the other side. I became curious. I started flipping all the puzzles. The, all the clip, all the small puzzle pieces, I started flipping it. Then I found one nose, one ear, then one mouth. I knew that it's a human being. So I flipped everything, I assembled the human being and reversed it. The world was assembled. <laughs> if you assemble yourself, everyone assembles themselves, the world automatically assembles. You need not correct others. You have not come here to correct others or direct others. Never do that mistake. You have come to live your life. Similarly, don't allow anybody to interfere in your life. You say, it's my life. I have got a right to live the way I want. But please make sure, be responsible to that commitment, what you make. Be responsible to yourself. Not loosely saying that this is my life. No. Not like that. If you say it is your life, 
you must be committed and you must be responsible and some qualification is needed you have to acquire it all those things are very normal things keep doing it everybody is blessed with everything in life please remember the god has not sent you as some idiotic product you are a product of the lord you can never be an idiot you will be full of everything just that it has to fall in its place god bless you all take care